I'm now going to show you how I make um, a ribbing that has a twisted both knit and purl stitch. So I twist knit and I twist purl. This is what it looks like and if I compare it to a ribbing with twist knit and a purl stitch that is not twisted they look the same on the right side but when we look on the wrong side you can see that the one with twist knit and purl you can see that the wrong side it looks like a regular twist a uh, regular knit one purl one ribbing and this one here you can see that the stitches are twisted on the wrong side as well and it looks the same on both sides and this make this ribbing a little bit tighter and if I place them they have the same number of stitches but you can see here that the twist knit twist purl ribbing is not as stretchy as the twist knit and regular purl ribbing so that is uh, the differences between those two and uh, now I will just demonstrate how I knit this one first I cast on and in the first round I begin with the twist knit then I pick the stitch up in a way that you may see here that in the bottom here of the stitch you can see the yarn twist around itself if I did a regular knit stitch the stitch would open like this but now I go in here in the back so that the yarn twists and I knit and when I do the purl stitch I pick up the purl stitch in this, uh, so that the yarn twists here as well if I did a regular purl stitch the yarn would open the stitch would open like this so I twist purl and these two stitches these are the whole pattern and I repeat and I knit one purl one uh, or twist knit one twist purl one sorry about that and I continue to twist knit and twist purl throughout the round and when I have finished the first round I simply continue to repeat that round which means that when I come to a twist knit stitch I twist knit again and when I arrive at the twist purl stitch I twist purl that one again and you have to make sure when you cast on that you cast on a number of stitches that can be divided by two since this pattern has two stitches um, if you don't you will end up with uh, not every second stitch twist uh, knit or twist purl but you can end up with two twist knit stitches or two twist purl stitches um, in the transition 
between uh, the beginning and the end of the round. But this is how it's done. Thank you for watching.